Hello YouTube fans, this is Trekker1996 with a Star Trek news update. And uh, in 2012, if you all didn't know, a new Star Trek game is coming out for the Xbox, PS3, and uh, also the computer, surprisingly, because you know, there's only a million games for the computer, but no one plays them. But in other news, um, we now have Justin um, on the phone here with his own take on the game. Justin, are you there? I'm doing all right. Uh, so, ju so Justin, uh, what do you, what's your take on this game this year, or for next year, I should say? Well, I think it's probably going to be a really great game. I mean, all the Star Trek coming out there, and it should be have lots to do with the series and the TV show, and maybe even like the newer stuff. So, um, what do you think about it, Troy? Um, I saw YouTube videos about it. It looks. Um, Pretty good. I know that um, it's supposed to be based off Star Trek 2. Also, I think it's coming out on the same day the movie is coming out. So it uh, should be interesting. Um, uh, just on your opinion, how do you think of other Star Trek games versus this one? Is it better or worse? I think, well, I know I'm not the hugest Star Trek fan, but I'm a little bit into it. Yeah, like it, like I was saying before, it does look uh, pretty good. So we'll have to uh, keep our eyes on that, and uh, hopefully it will be a good game. Um, so uh, kind of off topic, but uh, what what do you think the movie's going to be like when it comes out next year? I hope it's a really good movie because I did see the last movie, and it, um, I really liked it. And I like the older movies too from the eighties and nineties. I think um, the new one. Yeah, I mean, it seemed like it was a little, oh, I don't know, it, it just seemed a little, like, different from the original series timeline. Look, I know that this is, like, supposed to be before, but it looks too more, I don't know, the ship looks more futuristic than the one did in the original series. Now, don't get me wrong, people that are original series fans, but I, but I mean, you know, I mean, you have to think of one thing. The original series, I mean, didn't make a lot of money, I mean. They didn't even spend almost like a million dollars. They spent like about like thousands, which is now like TNG made like paid like two times as much. But yeah. um, but I mean, yeah, you really have to think that ship looked too advanced. I mean, even though it's supposed to look futuristic, I guess uh, yeah. they, they should have made it look a little bit more. Uh, I don't know, more like the original series ship than a yeah. new version. But, but what did you think about that? It just seemed like that they were cutting, like, with, like, the few, like, the ship looked too futuristic than the one that they were on when they were older. Um, well, it shouldn't have been the other way around. When they were older, they should have had the more futuristic ship. But, yeah. But I guess that's how J.J. Adams wanted to make the ship, and, I mean, I don't disagree with the design. I just wish it looked a little more, more like the original series one, you know, where they had, like, the, um, you know, where it just looked older, like, you know, it didn't look so technologically advanced, I guess. Yeah, and, um, well, I think, um, they should, well, they could, in the next movie that's coming out when, um, around when the game is, they should maybe, I don't know, they should maybe pick it up a notch and maybe, you know, like, get, um, better, I think maybe more effects, because I think, I'm not sure if you agree with this, but in um, the newer movie, the one that just came out, it was, um, I think it was, I don't know, it seemed really brief to me for some reason. They didn't explain a whole lot of things. Yeah, they just kind of...
kind of ended up like being young and like you know doing like fighting the Romulans and everything else. Yeah, I do agree with what you're saying, but um, yeah. But I guess that was just the approach that they wanted to take, like the alternate timeline, I guess. But I wouldn't say it was so alternate. Really. Like nothing really changed. Usually, like in the altered timeline, like. Like, you know, like, um, if you watch the moral universes of, like, all the series, like, all the series had one except for, like, the D, like, the, uh, like, TNG really didn't have one, um, it was kind of just kind of brief, like, you know, like, that other ship, uh, the Enterprise C, like, went into, like, this wormhole or something when they were fighting the Klingons at, like, this star base or something, but that one didn't seem, like, too, like, a moral universe, it just seemed like that they were, like, enemies of the Klingons, like, like, every series was besides TNG, but, you know, um, I know this might sound kind of off topic, but, well, I guess sort of in comparison, because Star Wars, I think a lot of their ships are a lot different from what Star Trek ideas have, because anyway, Star Trek came out about 10 or 11 years before Star Wars, and I think, like, Star Wars, maybe got a little overwhelmed with their stuff in Star Trek, kind of Well, yeah, and then, you know, it would be a really good movie if, like, in Star Trek 3 or something, or Star Trek 4, even, if they go that far, they should make a Star Wars and Star Trek movie where, like, they end up, like, uh, I don't know, like, meeting each other somehow, like, like, the, uh, like, the Enterprise gets, like, pushed into, like, the, like, a new quadrant of space, like, past the Delta Quadrant and everything else, like, Voyager ended up in their series. But they should be able to meet Star Wars, but that would be cool to me. I mean, what do you think? Yeah, I think that would be cool and interesting. Because as you've seen on, uh, as you've seen on YouTube, like, um, lots of videos people put up have, like, stuff, like, to do with Star Wars meeting Star Trek. And, um, even some when they're battling and, like, I guess kind of, like, doing parodies about each other. And, but... It's actually like a serious movie about both of uh, the two um, series. Um, that there would be a really cool thing to like, see out there. So. All right. Well. And, um. Is there something else you want to say here? I think. Um. So I'll just say for tonight, but we'll be back. Um. In a few more days or next week with another update on this stuff. So. Yeah, so if any of you have an idea, you can put your uh, comments, or if you want to upload a video, you can also put, like, a little thing if you don't have a YouTube account or something, um, or if, like, you're, you know, like, you don't want to post it on yours, but, um, we'd like to see if, like, you guys want to post any videos, and, um, we're hoping that, um, well, we're trying to, me and Justin are thinking about making, like, a Facebook page, but, like, it'll be Star Trek, but if you do... If you guys really want to st check out a Star Trek TNG page, it's called Star Trek TNG, obviously. Uh, the proof picture is a question mark, because I really didn't think of one. But um, if you guys do, like, you know, the Next Generation series, um, you can uh, log on with that. Um, but uh, please let me know, and then um, I'll give you all the information for our page. But, um, so, this is for Trekker 1996. We'll see you next week, or maybe in two, I haven't decided yet, on a new Star Trek news, and hopefully we can get your ideas. Thanks for watching. Now.